God, you make the big blue sky. Made the oceans deep and wide. God, you made the trees so tall. Your love is bigger than it all. God, you're bigger than big, stronger than strong. You are mightier than mighty and louder than this song. Your love for me stretches farther than far. I can't imagine just how big you are, just how big you are. God, you made the big blue sky You made the oceans deep and wide God, you made the trees so tall Your love is bigger than it all God, you're bigger than big You're stronger than strong You are mightier than mighty And louder than this song your love for me stretches farther than far I can't imagine just how big you are Just how big you are God, you're bigger than big You're stronger than strong You are mightier than mighty And louder than this song Your love for me stretches farther than far I can't imagine just how big you are, 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 just how big you are. Hi everyone, I'm Lucy. Welcome to St. Melita's Family Worship Online. It's great that you've joined whatever time of day or whatever day in the week you're watching. Hello, how's your week been? Go on, go like this with your thumb, put it up to the screen for me. Is it, was it a really good week all the way up here? Or was it a little bit like that or somewhere in the middle? I think I'm about, about there probably. It was a pretty good week. So I hope you had a great week today. We've got Simeon, lots of you know Simeon who comes and helps us at All Age Worship on Sunday mornings. And he's gonna be speaking on the wealthy man. So listen out later for Simeon. So let's pray and then we're gonna to worship together. Jesus, thank you that you are with us in our homes. And I pray, Lord, that we can worship you together now. Lord, will you just come by your spirit and meet with every single child and grown up watching today? Amen. Let's worship. Trust the Lord. Show and tell the world we 
trust in with today. Trust in the good times. Trust in the rain. Trust in the tomorrow. Trust in the today. Trust in the good times. Trust in the rain. Trust in the tomorrow. Trust in the Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Guess what I've been up to at the weekend? Um, chasing cats? No. Barking at cats? Oh. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, barking at ducks? Oh, no, look, you guys have just been silly now. Look, you know how much I love fishing? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I got to go to a trip with my brother Oscar to a big lake. And you know what? Instead of fishing this time, <sighs> I got to go treasure hunting. Ooh, ooh, Ruffy, that does sound fun. Did you find any? Yeah, yeah. Just wait a second. Look. Ooh. Hey, look at Look. <laughs> Ruffy. I thought you meant real treasure, like jewellery or a golden watch or something valuable. Yeah, you know, like big gold coins, something that isn't all wet and mouldy. Oh, I thought... Oh, I thought this was really cool. What, would it be like free and a shoe? Oh, never mind, Ruffy. Do you know what I've been up to at church? What? What? Yeah, what? Well, funnily enough, we've been learning all about treasure and God. We got to make our own treasure boxes. Ooh, I didn't realise church was in person. That means I won't have to be on so many Zoom calls. I'll make sure my grown-up books be in next week. Can we see your box, Zuma? Well, annoyingly, my dad, Skype, lost it. But it doesn't matter because we learnt that our stuff isn't Im as important as God. So I'm not go I'm going to try not to be too sad about it, even though it was really, really pretty. Oh, uh, that's cool, Zuma. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that my treasure wasn't too fancy schmancy. Can we watch the Saddleback video now? Yeah! OK, here we go! Stories of the Bible the parable of the wealthy man. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, a crowd gathered around Jesus to hear him talk. The crowd was so big that people were stepping on each other. Hey, watch it! Jesus was talking to his disciples when someone called out from the crowd. Hey, Jesus! Teacher, tell my brother to divide with me the property our father left us. Ah, uh, hold on there. Jesus said, friend, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? Be careful and guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life is not measured by the many things he owns. Huh? Then he told them a story. A rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. He said to himself, what should I do? I don't have room for all my crops. Hmm. Ah, I got it. Then he said, I know. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I'll have room enough to store all my wheat and other goods. 
and I'll sit back and say to myself, my friend, you have enough stored away for years to come. <laughs> now take it easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> but God said to him, you fool, you will die this very night. <laughs> Wait, what? Then who will get everything you worked for? Yes, a person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not have a rich relationship with God. Hi boys and girls, my name is Simeon and I am one of the interns here at St. Paul's. Now wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you are well and you are healthy. So today we are looking at the parable of the rich man. Now, parables were like stories that Jesus told because he was like, that was his favorite thing to do. He was a, an amazing storyteller. And this was a story about a rich man. Now, this rich man has lots and lots of grain. He's like a farmer, like a really, really big farmer. And he has loads of grain, which is like the crops that grow up out of the ground. Um, he has grain for days. He has so much grain, right, that the barns he had that would store the grain that he usually made, weren't big enough. So he had to knock down those barns and create a bigger barn to store all of this new grain in because he's got so much. It's like if you went shopping, right, and then you got loads of really lovely clothes and you got lovely shoes and everything, and you came back home and then you tried to put them in your wardrobe, but all of the clothes you had already are there and there's no, there's no room for all of this other stuff. So you thought, hmm, what should I do? I know, I'm going to keep all of this stuff because I want it all. I'm going to knock down this smaller wardrobe and build a bigger wardrobe so you can put in all that other stuff. So that's essentially what is going on here. So this man has all of this stuff and God then tells him that he is going to die. And now he's kind of faced with a bit of a problem. Like, what's he going to do? All of the, He's been building up all of this stuff on earth, all of this lovely stuff he's got, but then he's, he's about to die and... When he dies, he, he can't do anything with all of this stuff. It means nothing. So what's he going to do? Now, have you ever had anything taken away from you? Anything nice that you were kind of looking forward to um, and suddenly snatched away? So I, I remember I was at a football weekend kind of thing when I was um, probably around your age, actually. And we uh, were having lunch and I had a packet of crisps. And I saw in this packet of crisps that there was this massive crisp. It was like the size of my face. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I'm going to save that for later. So I take it out so that I can put it on my knee and then I'm going to eat the rest of these crisps and then I'm going to eat that last crisp because you've got to save, save the best till last, right? So I did that. But when my head was turned, one of my friends, or so I thought one of my friends, nicked that crisp off my knee and ate it himself. And then I looked back and I didn't know where the, the crisp had gone. And he said, oh yeah, no, I ate it because I thought you didn't want it. And I was so annoyed. I was so angry. I'm like, what do you think? Of course I wanted it. It's the biggest crisp. Everyone wants the biggest one. You just got to save it for later. And he was so, I was so annoyed. And he was like, oh, well, I ate your crisp. I was really angry. Now imagine how this man is thinking when God said, you're going to lose all of this stuff because tonight you're going to die. He was really angry. Now, his life was set up, this man who with all the grain, like he was kind of relaxed, he was chilling, like the rest of his life's kind of pretty relaxed and comfortable. And would he want that? Yeah, I think so. But question is, did he need it? Is that um, what he needed? These riches, these treasures, these really cool things that you can have on earth, they're not necessarily bad, or the nice clothes maybe, or jewellery, or games, or consoles, whatever. They're not necessarily bad, and I don't think Jesus is saying that at all. But the man in this story only has that. He only has this stuff on earth that actually, when he dies, he, didn't, he couldn't use that. You can't use that in heaven. You can't use your Game Boy in heaven. You can't, <laughs> like, when he dies, that's all gone. He wasn't thinking about heaven and he wasn't thinking about what God wanted to, him to do or how he wanted to live his life. He was only focusing on the here and the now and as, getting as much stuff as possible. And then God tells him that he's going to die and the man realises that he has nothing. And he hasn't been thinking about how God wants him to live. 
Um, but he's only been thinking about what he wants on earth. And that's really, really sad, actually, when you think about it. But what's amazing is that Jesus is telling us that we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry about the here and now. We don't have to um, provide completely for ourselves and, um, and we're all on our own. Like we have to prepare everything and sort everything out and, you know, dot the I's and cross the T's. Like we don't have to do that. We need, we need to be wise and we need to look after ourselves. But actually, if we're in, we've always got God who's going to look after us. Jesus tells us that we are so, so important to him. And actually, that we may have difficult times in life. There may be difficult bits that we have to deal with. But God is always going to be there for us. And that's the most important thing to remember. Because God is the most important person that we could ever have in our life. God is the best treasure in the world because he loves us and we can love him and we can be totally fulfilled no matter whether we have a small amount of stuff or lots of stuff or nothing at all or everything because if we have God then we have everything and that's the really important thing to remember. So now we are going to pray and we're going to do body prayers, okay? So follow along with me and right, stand up. Everybody stand up. Yep, yeah, that's you as well. Come on, up you get. First, we are going to put our hands on our head and we are going to pray over our minds that we won't always be thinking about treasures or in heaven, but that we can concentrate and think about talking with God. So let, let me pray and you pray along with me, okay? Dear Lord, thank you for our minds. Thank you that you created them so that we can talk with you and understand you and be in relationship with you. Lord God, help us not to think about treasures and stuff on earth, but help us to talk with you every single day. Amen. So next, we are going to hold out our hands. Hold out your hands. That's it. And we are going to pray for everyone who makes everything that we need to live. So the people who make our food, who, who grow our food. And we're going to pray for the builders who uh, have built the houses that we're living in. And perhaps also our teachers who help us become better people so we can live good lives. So let's hold out our hands and pray. Lord, thank you so much for every single person who has influenced my life and has been involved in my life, who has built the house that I live in, and who looks after me like my parents, or who has made the food that I eat, like farmers or greengrocers or butchers. Lord, may you bless them and keep them safe today. Thank you so much for who they are. I thank you, you know them really, really well and you love them. Amen. So third, we are gonna touch your toes, we're gonna to touch our toes together and we're gonna pray for the people who help us to get to places like getting to church or to school. So you touch your toes, can you bend down, touch your toes? Um, and we're gonna pray, we're gonna say, dear Lord, thank you for taxi drivers and bus drivers and our parents, whoever help us to get to church and to school. Thank you for transport. Thank you, Lord, for our feet that we can walk places as well. And Lord, help us to be grateful for everyone involved in our lives that way as well. Amen. Whoa, blood rush to your head. And uh, finally, we are going to use our bottoms and we're going to sit down. Come on, sit down with me. That's it. Don't have to stand up now. We're sitting down and we're going to pray for everyone who has to still stay at home because of coronavirus, okay? Dear Lord, thank you that you know everyone who's been affected by coronavirus and I pray for all of the people who are still stuck at home who can't go to work or can't go to school or can't leave because of their health Lord I just pray you'll be with them and Holy Spirit comfort them and give them peace I pray in your holy name Lord Jesus amen brilliant thanks guys thanks for praying with me happy Sunday see you later Trust the Lord with all your heart, all your heart. Trust the Lord. Jesus is our King. We're gonna 
dance, we're gonna sing. Yes, he's our friend, and he's here for us forever. He will never let us go. What a love story to show and tell the world. He's amazing and forever. Trust the Lord with all your heart. All your heart. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord with all your heart. All your heart. Trust the Lord. Sing and shout and show our friends what it's about. Hi guys, so it is memory verse time and we have a new one for you this week. It comes from Matthew 6 verses 21, okay? And what we're going to do today is we're going to try and come up with our own actions to it, alright? So I thought of a few and maybe at home you can think of your own to help you remember it, alright? So it goes, wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will be also. Okay, so what we're going to do is wherever, so you can do that, wherever your treasure is, so you've got our oh, treasure, all oh, shiny treasure, there the desires of your heart will be also. Okay, should we do it again? So wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will be also. Okay, and hopefully you guys can remember that. And if you come in person to church groups next Sunday, then you might get a starzoid for remembering that. And that means prizes, okay? See you soon. From the breaking of the daylight Help us see the world through your eyes Finding beauty in the broken Trusting promises you've spoken You've got plans to give us a future and a hope We are not the gods shadows and the sunlight when our worries overtake us we believe that they won't break us you got plans to give us a future and a hope we are not the gods we are not alone plans to lead us home into your heart you are always with us everywhere You've got plans to give us a future and a hope We are not forgotten, we are not alone Plans to lead us home into your heart You are always with us everywhere we are You've got plans to give us a future and a hope We are not forgotten Shadows, we will try.
So I hope you had fun this morning. Thank you, Simeon, for your amazing talk on The Wealthy Man. We had so much fun this morning, didn't we? So don't forget, you can still watch us online, but you can also hang out with us in person. Hooray! So if you want to join us next Sunday morning, we're doing the same themes as we're doing online. And just get your grown-up to sign up on our website to book you in, and we'll see you next week, hopefully some of you, in person. And if you learn the memory verse that you've just been hearing today, and tell me next week, you get a start and so many stars makes prizes so we'll see you next week bye